Hello once again, everyone. So, this video has been a long time in coming, but um, a request from one of my friends who's part of the Warriors of Ash, who will focus more on Viking type stuff, shield wall fighting, etc. And he was asking me if I had anything to strengthen the shield arm. In pretty much every fantasy or, or Dark Ages movie, you will hear someone mention that you need a good, strong shield arm. And it is very, very important because a proficient shield arm and a strong shield arm are two very different things. A proficient shield arm is what you get when you train plays over and over and over and over again. It knows what to do and generally cover the lines. A proficient shield arm should be the same as your sword arm in that you can actively apply it when you need it to. And mechanics-wise, it shouldn't be all that different from your sword arm. It's just using it a little bit differently because if you look at pretty much any shield um, that is not strapped to your arm, you have pretty much just a sword grip. You even have the edge, uh, the blade that is, that's going away from you, and the pommel, that's the counterbalance point. Now, in regards to exercises to strengthen your shield arm, I recommend a couple different ones. The first being copes, is what I call them. You're going to take your shield, and you can put your thumb onto uh, the blade if you like, but you're going to extend it up, out, note that I'm extending with my arm, forward, that's one, up, out, forward, up, out, forward. And you want to try and keep that motion as smooth as you can and get used to using the edge and applying it where you want it to. because. When you end up in a situation where you're fighting against someone, you want to be able to push that edge forward, push it to the side, push it to the side, cover it upward, things like that, because shields are slippery, especially if they have metal rims like this, which is not historical for this type of shield, but it's what I had on hand. Now, that's one of them. Another general exercise you can do is what I call roll-ups, where you extend the arm up, roll, down, roll, down. Okay. Um, that one's just sort of a good warm-up one for the copes, personally. But beyond that, you also have what I, um, what I call buckler boxing. Now, this particular extension I actually am borrowing from Roland Borzeka, who is a very, very good um, sword and buckler fencer. He's, it's really his passion, so if you want to see more shield work, go look at him. He also has a great interest in Viking Age stuff and has a lot of really interesting theories about how the shields were used. But, if I grab a buckler to show the arm motion a little more clearly, what I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to put my thumb here, and I am going to extend as I turn, and extend as I turn. Very similar to how I would thrust on the inside, or thrust on the outside lines. So, one, two. One, two. And if you do this with a big shield, just do five, maybe ten a day. That's a lot, and it does help quite a lot. Um, but what you can combine it with, if you're a little bit bored, is you can grab a punching bag, or my good buddy Bob here, hey Bob, and do what I call buckler boxing, where you square up with your opponent, extend into the brim of the eyes where you turn in, extend into the brim of the eyes where you turn out, strike. One, two, strike. One, two, strike. One, two, strike. And you can even vary it up so you go, one, two, strike. One, two, strike. So it's generally, you know, it's moving around the right arm. Um, this is very good for practicing quick wrist cuts or other in cuts, but it's mostly working the left arm, which you should do with a metal or wooden buckler, I recommend. The nylon bucklers are just not all that heavy, to be honest. Um, those are great for when you first start out because then you'll get the proficient arm from getting used to doing actions where you cover yourself. Um, they'll get used to winding over each other, etc. But, if you really want to strengthen your arm, you want metal, or you can go find the bigger shield you can find. But, that all aside, hopefully that's of help to people who want to strengthen their left arm, but don't want to practice swordsmanship left-handed, because they are doing separate jobs. Um, but hopefully that's of help, that's what I do, and I'll show you some other techniques or exercises another time.